I'm going to code blocks nine. Let me show you what we're making today very, very quickly. Yes, it's very fast. So let's see if we can, we can see it. Yes. Very nice. I don't expect this from you because it is a lot of work, but if you want to do it, that's fine. I'll give you the code for it later. Right now, let's get started. We're going to start with the brand new code blocks and new design from scratch. All right, we're going to start off with the cylinder, everyone's favorite. And with the cylinder, we're going to move it. And let's start with this. All we're going to do is move this cylinder to 42. So there we go. And let's see what that looks like. Wow, that, my friends, is a beautiful cylinder. We are going to change the numbers here around. We're going to change them around to 23, 80. And the edges are going to be 64 and 1. Let's go ahead and uh, reset. That is a large size. That is the way we like it. I'm going to main mo name mine T Light because that's the name of the project. You're going to name yours something a little bit different. You're going to name it Tower of Power. All right, so now we're going to create the empty space around it. How do we do that? Well, I think we can just duplicate this, move it there, but we're going to change the dimensions a little bit, just a little bit. Actually, sorry. This first one is going to be the transparent one, and we're going to make the bigger one here. So this one's going to be a little bit bigger by two millimeters, and that's going to be 76. All right, let's see what this looks like. And this time, let's go by step. Step one, there it is. Step two, moved it up. Okay, so as you can see, there's the two millimeters, and then let's go to the next one. All right, so is it going through? It is going through. That means I need to change this to 38. This time, I'm going to reset it, and then there you go. Here's some time for you guys to look at the numbers while I enjoy the beauty of this thing. Of course, the next thing we got to do is group group sorry we're going to group it we're not going to create a group well we are but not yet so <clears throat> we're going to group this beautiful look at that it goes all the way through now we're going to create a group out of this whole thing so or we're going to actually create an object that object is going to be called the holder so let's rename this variable holder all right so every time we want one of these we're just going to get the word holder there it is see see how that works very nice all right so we did that part now let's move on what we're going to do now is create the new object well we're going to create the hopefully you saw the circles that were around here that's what we're doing right now so we're going to create a new object and of course, we're going to start off with the cylinder. <coughs> now, essentially what we're doing is we're beginning the pattern. And the whole point of today's lesson is to create patterns. One pattern is going to make the next pattern bigger, and then the next one, and then the next one. So that's what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and change this right here. This is going to be 7.5. We're going to change that to 10 and 64. <clears throat> now let's run this. You're probably not gonna be able to see it because it has we haven't moved it yet. There it is. All right, so now we want to move it. And every time I say that, I have the urge to say, I like to move it, move it, but I'll not say it that much. I'll just say it in my head. <clears throat> and the Z, let's see. Actually, we're going to change this one here, my bad, to the one with the numbers, you know, the math one. We're going to put that right there, and it's going to be negative 50. And we're going to add 8.25, 8 and a quarter. There it is. Let's see what that looks like now. We're going to reset, and then we're going to run. And there it is. That's what we actually want for it to come out like that. All right, so we're going to just duplicate this one. 
and there it is. Now, from now, for the rest of these, for the rest of these, we're going to make them all transparent because we're going to be manipulating this thing right here. And let's see, anything else that we need to change? No, it looks like we're good. Everything, okay, so here's the next one. The next one, this is the negative. We're going to have the numbers 7.5, 10, 64, and 1. But we're going to move it a little bit differently. This one's going to be moving 8. Oh, I think I made a mistake. Let me see. Negative 50. Oh, you're right. I did make a mistake. Let's see if I can get this out of the way. So this one here, we're going to get rid of it. Actually, I was going to put it down here, but I realized I already did it there. This one's just going to move negative 50. My bad. Okay. This one down here should be negative 50 and 8.25. Okay. So first one is going to be 8.25. And let's see what this looks like, just so we can, we're clear as to what we're going for here. Here you go. Okay, that one comes out, and that one's going to get a little edge. What we're doing is we're creating the design down here, establishing our pattern. Okay, so now we're at this one. We're going to duplicate it. We got another one. So now we're at the third one. This is now the third one. It's going to be on the outer edge of the next one. So let's go ahead and check <clears throat> what we're going to change this one to. That stays the same. Now the third one, the third one is going to be negative. So just put a minus sign there and that's going to be negative and that's going to be positive. And let's run it again very quickly. And all we did was go to a different side of that circle. There's the first one and there's the second one. So now we're going to fill out the other two. So I'm going to duplicate that one. And these numbers stay the same, but it's the next one that's going to change, right? So this one is still going to be negative. The, this one's going to be negative, And now this one is going to be negative minus. And let's run it very quickly. Then it's zero, comes out, comes out, and one more right there. <clears throat> and can you guess what we're going to do next? That's right, duplicate it. And let's see, this last one, this last one's going to be positive at the beginning, negative, and negative. Let's see what that creates. And let's do this faster. It's getting kind of slow. There it is. Created that. Now we're going to group them. And there it is. Create group. Create group. <clears throat> we know what that's going to do, so we're just going to leave that alone. We are going to now create another one of these. Let me just duplicate this one here. And I don't want these two. Maybe. Okay. So the, these numbers are going to stay the same. Okay? Nothing's changing here. But for my memory, I'm just going to change that to yellow so I can remember. <clears throat> okay. So essentially, actually, let me just run it so there's no essentially. You can just see. Nothing's really changed, right? nothing's changed. In fact, when I created the group, it took away that part right there. And the yellow one should be right there. We're going to move that next. So let's move right here. And this one's going to be negative 50. We want it to be out over here. And then we're going to create group of everything. It's going to be transparent. And then we're going to want it to, actually, before we go to that, let's just watch what it does here. I knew that was going to be, I knew it. <laughs> Let me just make sure my pattern's here, because it got, essentially got rid of everything. Oh, that's, that's the issue right there. My bad. My bad. All right. Now, you know, when you're doing this thing, there you go. That's the pattern we're looking for. <coughs> Sorry. That's the pattern we're looking for. Okay. So we're finished with this. Now we're going to rotate it. So what we want is we want this to turn a little bit and then get close to this uh, <coughs> this tower or this tea light as it's called. We're going to rotate next. And of course we want it to be 90, 90 degrees. And then 
on the X and then it's gonna we're gonna move it back so we're there we go and this is gonna be just 27 because that is this area here and the Z is gonna be 11.5 <clears throat> this last part is actually very important because when you're doing your project you do not have to create a fancy pattern you can just choose um, a shape and make it transparent but you do have to move it and rotate it so these two right here are going to be very important for your project all you're going to do is choose a shape make it transparent and move, move it back now if you want to get all fancy and everything and make it a special one you go right ahead now let's name this thing two pattern shape because that's the shape of our pattern so we're calling it pattern shape let's run this thing and there it is just stuck like that like glue so we have our holder we have now a pattern shape but we we haven't done you know the we wanted to make it go around so that we're going to create a pattern and that's again the point of today's lesson is creating patterns okay so now we want to create a circle with this pattern so we're going to create new object we're going to name this object anybody know anybody know of course we're going to call this the circle pattern because we want to create a circle with the pattern you guys are so good at remembering these things now like i said last time we're going to use the count with that means it's going to be like hey we're going to do more than one thing at a time so we're going to start at zero and we're going to go to seven why because i believe only about seven fit on there and we're going to do this one time so what do we want to do we want to add a copy of the thing we just made that thing we want a copy of that to be right there so we're going to add a copy of the object oh, right there and which one do we want we want the pattern shape we want the pattern shape right there and of course we want it to be transparent so what we're doing here is we're creating one and you'll see what we're going to do now because now we're going to rotate around the the center of this thing so it's going to be over the center of the 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 z axis my bad the z axis so we're going to rotate this thing rotate around the z and is it going to be 90 degrees yes however the important part is actually the math one hopefully you remember from the previous two lessons that we need something special for this one now <clears throat> excuse me i'm going to put two of these together please pay attention to this part because we want to create we want to have this one there i why did that happen let's try this again oh i think i think i have to drop it down why wouldn't it fit in there there it is my bad i did it incorrectly before we're going to multiply it because multiplying helps it to go faster around otherwise i have to be playing with different numbers here 360 and we're going to divide it by eight eight and of course we want to go around the center the center is just there so we wanted to go around here and let's run this thing see what it looks like from this angle right there oh that's beautiful did it do enough did i do everything correctly because i'm missing something here anybody know what it is can anybody figure it out oh it's still going that's why okay now I'm not sure if you noticed this, but here's what I want you to see. Let's see if I can zoom in here. This is lighter. This is lighter. This is a little bit darker. Why? Because we still have the original one plus the ones that we created. So what we want to do now, we want to delete the original one. So we're going to delete object. And what's the name of the object? We want to get rid of the pattern shape. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, but this one should be lighter. Let's reset and run there now it's lighter we have what we want and with this this is called the circle pattern now we're going to create a new again the whole point of today's lesson creating patterns so now we're going to create the final object actually before we create the final object we want to create one of these things but going straight up because we want it to go all the way up okay what yeah we're going to create a new object <clears throat> let's go down here Hopefully you can still see that part right there. Okay. And this one is actually going to be the final log. Oops. I don't want to, I want to create a new variable. This one's going to be called T light. 
For you, it would be the tower. Power, I think. All right. We named it correctly. And we're going to start with the count with. There it is. Count with. And now because the I is already used, we're now working with J, in case you're wondering. And we're going to go from 0 to 2 because we already have this one. We want two more. So there you go, 0 to 2. And if you count by ones, you actually get a total of three. We're going to add a copy. There you go. Add a copy of the object. Now, what object do we want? We want the circle pattern. We already established this pattern right here. And this pattern, this pattern um, makes a ring around the, this l cup looking thing. <clears throat> but we want to move it. How do we want to move it? With the X, Y right there. Oh, sorry. I went ahead of myself. Forgot to put the move. There it is. Now we have X and Y, but we want to change the Z to a math block right there. Now we're going to change that to J. J is our new variable here. J. And then this one, we're going to multiply by 27. Multiply by 27. You're like, this is a lot. Of, we're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Now, remember like I did last time, because I created something and I made that part darker, I want to get rid of the initial circle pattern. So I want to delete object. Otherwise, it's just going to be an extra thing there. And what object do I want to delete? The first circle pattern. Okay. And then now I want to add a copy of an object. Hmm. I want to add a copy of an object. Wait, there it is. And the object, anybody know what it's going to be? It's going to be a holder. And why do I want to have one if I already have it here? That's because I want to group them. And I need them together for that. Now I want to delete the, <coughs> the one that's there. Right now, delete. Where'd it go? Delete object. And of course, it's the holder. And there you go. We're almost done, guys. Hold on. Be strong. And when you're doing yours, I want it to be purple. Okay, I want your design to be purple. Of course, you can use the same cup if you want. I want these designs to be different. And the last thing is we're going to create a group. So let's go ahead and create a group. All right, now let's see if I did this correctly. Look at all this code. I'm going to leave it there so you guys can see that. Let me get rid of that right there. Okay, run it. Let's do this a little slowly and let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, hopefully you can see where I made my mistake if I did make one. Okay, now at this point, there should be a duplication. Okay, it is taking a while. Now, after this duplication, it should delete the final one. There, deleted it. Now it's going to copy that and we'll move it up. Did I move it up? I see that it's stuck. Did I do something wrong here? This is where you're always like, oh, okay, I did it. It was just thinking for a while. Okay, circle. It's creating the pattern. Great. All right, so there it is. That is beautiful. If you lived in the 70s, yes. Actually, some people might like it now. When you share this with me, you're going to share a screenshot, of course, because this is way too big of a gift to send to me. And your email subject should be done and done. Have a good day.